Tracy McGrady is one of the bigger injury what-ifs in NBA history, and we almost saw him in his prime play with Vince Carter in Toronto. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? That is going to be our historic rebuild. We are going to be rebuilding the 2002 Toronto Raptors. So this was suggested by Zach Carson in the Mavericks historic rebuild, basically saying, please do a what if if Carter and Tracy McGrady didn't leave Toronto. So if you're a big Raptors fan or maybe just a big NBA fan, you know that I already said something incorrect in this video. I'm saying we're doing a 2002 Raptors rebuild, but Tracy McGrady left the Raptors in 2000. Theoretically, this would be his second year year playing in Orlando, but I just couldn't find a good enough draft class to get the year 2000 on the spot. Uh, I found some 01s. I found a good 97 one, but unfortunately Vince Carter wasn't in the league yet. So yeah, basically we're going to be doing this in 2002 and we're going to be building around prime T-Mac and prime Vince Carter. I might not even need to do much. We might win a championship in year one with this team. We have a 38 year old Hakeem Olajuwon. We have Antonio Davis. We have Morris Peterson on the team. We have Chris Childs, Alvin Williams, Carlos Arroyo, Jerome Williams, and Del Curry. Now, with T-Mac and Carter on the team, I assume, yeah, T-Mac, like, his secondary position is point guard, but I think I would move him to a small forward spot. So, we have him at the three, Carter at the two. We'll have a veteran Olajuwon at the five. Peterson could be our sixth man, but I could also move him for a point guard because or a power forward because we don't have great options there right now. All right, so we're going to be making a trade with the New York Knicks. Carlos Arroyo and Del Curry for Kurt Thomas and James Smith just gives us an upgrade at the power forward position. All right, so let's just see what this team will do um, built around T-Mac and Vince Carter. So uh, yeah, they both can get 37 minutes tonight. Chris Childs at age 30 will be our starting point guard. Uh, I would like to probably start Kurt Thomas at the power forward spot. Um, Alvin Williams and Jerome Williams can come off the bench. You know, we got the Williams there. They're going to get about 16 minutes a night. Antonio Davis can get 20. Peterson's getting about 28. 30 to Olajuwon. Let's probably do about 25 to Kurt Thomas. I mean, 30 to Olajuwon might be much. Maybe do 29 to Childs and then 27 to Kurt Thomas. Our balance system proficiency is three and a half stars. We'll stick with that right now. And for the shot tendencies, T-Max at a 95. I also want Carter being at a 95. We don't need a large one at a 99. He could probably go down to an 80. Peterson at a 75 is good because he's our sixth man. Yeah, Chris Childs does not need to be at a 25. He can go up to a mid 50s as well. And Jerome Williams can go up to kind of a low 50s or man, we can do mid as well. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And let's hope that this Raptors team, um, even with the playing tournament on for year one, uh, uh, we should be fine. Like, we're built around Vince Carter and T-Mac, two of the best players in the league. Like, if we go to kind of league overalls right now, we can see uh, Shaq's number one, Duncan two. Then you have Kobe, Garnett, Durant, Reggie Miller. Boom, T-Mac, Iverson, Car or Harden. All right, this is weird. Like, out of the top, like, guys, these are all players from this era, but I don't get why Zion Williamson is here, Kyrie Irving and James Harden. Everything else is like pretty accurate. You have Jordan in Washington, and then you just, for some reason, have Kyrie Harden and Zion Williamson of all names. It is like the best roster I could find, so I apologize about those three players. I promise I won't touch any of them today. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and I'm excited to see how the duo can do. All right, so we end the season as the one seed. I feel like we're going to be pretty dominant throughout this historic rebuild. So yeah, this is going to be one on the easier side today. And the trade for T-Mac to Orlando was pretty terrible. It was a 2005 first round pick that really wasn't much. So I did give Orlando my 2005 first in this. Tyson Chandler wins rookie of the year. The 2002 draft class, off the top of my head, I forgot who was in that but uh i just know yao ming was there darren fox why is he here but we do get coach of the year all nba first team you have baron davis wow uh kobe bryant tim duncan kg and shaq shout out to baron davis man second team you have gilbert arenas ignore him elton brand dirk and alonzo morning third team you have carl malone at age 37 still doing it in utah uh, you got Ben Wallace, Pau Gasol, Vince Carter, and Michael Jordan. Uh, all defensive first team, you have Gary Payton, Jordan Garnett, Marion, Ben Wallace. And then there is defensive second team. So, yeah, there is going to be a playing tournament for our first playoff run. There's really nothing I could have done, um, I think, at least. Uh, going up against the Bucks, who have Sam Cassell. Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson, not the greatest team around them. Um, Michael Wright is probably still very young, I would assume. Yeah, 20 years old. And if we take a look at our season stats, uh, T-Mac is becoming one of the best players in the league. Was he not on an All-NBA team? Um, All-NBA, he was an All-Star. He was not an All-NBA player. 
How? What a snub. 28 and a half points, 4.9 rebounds, 8.4 assists on elite shooting percentage. How is he not MVP? That is insane. Uh, Vince Carter has an incredible year as well. 25 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 56 from the field, 40 from 3, 83 from the line. How did he not make an All-NBA team? Uh, Morris Peterson was a great sixth man for us. Hakeem was getting it done at the center spot, but he's going to be 39, so I probably will need to look at a new option there. Chris Childs averaged 8 assists a night. Uh, there's Alvin Williams, Antonio Davis. Kurt Thomas wasn't great by any means and there's Jerome Williams so for the playoffs I'm going to be decreasing the minutes of both Williams's and I want to play Kurt Thomas about 23 I want to go 40 to T-Mac and Carter we're gonna do about one more to Elijah one and one more to Chris Child so system proficiency we're four star balanced so let's see if we can beat the Milwaukee Bucks in round one I mean we are the one seed we should beat them I think we went what was it 65 and 17 or 67 and 15 it was 65 and 17 we ended up taking care of the Bucks in five games Vince Carter averaged almost 30 points T-Mac was a lead Hakeem man we're getting elite play out of 38 year old now 39 year old Hakeem Olajuwon. So now we're taking on the Charlotte Hornets who have Baron Davis, who we know is one of the better players in the league and he was incredible in round one. David Wesley, Jamal Mashburn, Jamal McGlure, PJ Brown, Eldon Campbell, Stacey Augman. Are we going to be able to beat them and go on to the conference finals in year one? Yes, we can. We end up beating them in five uh, in round two. And T-Mac led the way in scoring with 27 points, 8.8 assists. And there's Vince Carter. Morris Peterson gave us great play as well. So now we're taking on the Nets team who do have Kyrie Irving and James Harden, Joe. Oh, so they just have their original team, huh? Were the Nets just not done in this roster or the Pelicans? I guess those are the two teams that weren't done and the Kings as well. So those three teams um, weren't completed, but they all had rosters then. I can get the Pelicans, but I don't really know why the Nets wasn't completed, but every other roster like team is good. Why? Well, just complete 27 um, rosters. I, that just doesn't really make a lot of sense. But either way, we're going to beat this Nets team. They're no match for me. Um, and we are going to beat them in six. And we are going on to face the Pelicans in the NBA Finals. Vince Carter in those six games averaged 34 points. Holy crap. Olajuwon averaged 20 and 14. 28 for T-Mac. This team is absurd. Now we're taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Come on, let's beat them. We do win game one by just one point. T-Mac with a triple-double game two. We do drop that game by seven points. That's fine. T-Mac had 33 and 10. Carter with 29. Game three, we win by eight points. T-Mac with 45. Carter with 36. They combined it for 81 points. We do lose game four, though. Damn. T-Mac, Carter played great. Morris Peterson played really well. All right, game five. Let's see how this goes. We do pick up the victory by 16 points. T-Mac with 38 and 10. Morris Peterson had a great game. Elijah one had a great game. Vince Carter had a great game. And we are going to win the NBA Finals in our first year. I don't think getting Kurt Thomas was the difference maker there. So I really didn't do much to win a title in our year one. As Olajuwon retires, that's huge. T-Mac got Finals MVP. Michael Jordan retires as well. Will we see him in the Hall of Fame? Yep, Jordan and Olajuwon. Uh, Jordan, arguably the GOAT. Olajuwon, top 15 player ever. We're going to get the OG playoffs back. Draft lottery time. Uh, we are going to have our pick at. 30. So yeah, the goal of today's video is pretty much to three-peat in a historic rebuild, which is something I really haven't done yet. So Yao Ming went to the Hawks. I ended up getting Carlos Boozer at pick 30. Isaac Moreland at pick 60. Sure, we'll sign him. Team player options, we have none. But we definitely need to find some upgrades to this team. I mean, the bench isn't really good. I think Carlos Boozer will be playing right away. He could even be starting for us next year. And right now, Antonio Davis at age 38 is our starting power forward. So I'm going to be making a trade with the Milwaukee Bucks. Antonio Davis, I know, my only center right now. Isaac Moreland in a second round pick for Michael Red. And we get a future first round pick from them, which would technically be a first in the 2000 and for NBA draft. But yeah, Michael Red, Morris Peterson can be some scores for us off the bench next year. Now, we do need to get some centers. So ignore Aldridge and Valanciunas. Like I said, yeah, like I mentioned before, the Pelicans and the Nets were kept here. Tyson Chandler, who won Rookie of the Year last year, but he really didn't have great efficiency. All right, the center market is very bleak. You have KG, though. KG, though. 
Probably not gonna get him. Rasheed Wallace, man, would be kind of dope. All right, we do have a little bit of money to spend, so let's go out and get Tyson Chandler to get an Elite Room Protector for us. Getting Gary Payton would be nice, but we really just don't have that money. Steve Nash as well to facilitate to McGrady and Carter. I don't know. Um, Eric Snow we can get, who might be probably the best option just due to his price tag we can get white chocolate jason williams but that efficiency last year was pretty bad Tarek fisher i mean he wasn't great either chris childs is a free agent i should probably bring him back he wasn't too bad for us so there we go we get tyson chandler i think i could fix his efficiency um as long as he really just doesn't take any threes we're going to get 19-year-old Chris Anderson to probably be our backup center. And yeah, I think this is going to be the team we are going to go with. I'm very excited to see what it can do next year. And I don't think Tyson Chandler is going to be as good as Hakeem Olajuwon was for us. But you know what? As long as he could just be just, I don't know, not terrible. You know what? Like the efficiency isn't bad. He's getting his alley-oops. He's running to the rim. Yeah, I don't know why he has an 80 shot three tendency. When did we ever see Tyson Chandler shoot threes? So KG um, ends up going to the Celtics, which you look at that. He ended up doing that a couple years later. Uh, Gary Payton goes to the Mavericks. Uh, Paul Pierce goes to the Jazz, so he doesn't stay in Boston. Elton Brand to the Wizards, Rasheed Wallace to the Rockets, Steve Nash to the Lakers. We know he did that in real life as well, but also, was, he, was that via trade? No, I think he signed with them. So T-Max at 95, we got Vince Carter at a 94, Morris Peterson at 86, Chandler 82, Michael Red 78, uh, Chris Anderson 78, then you got Thomas Childs and Alvin Williams. All right, so taking a look at the rotation, it's gonna be Childs, Carter, McGrady, Kurt Thomas again. Honestly, I kind of want to see what Boozer could do. Uh, Kurt Thomas is going to play probably around 10 minutes a night. Uh, Chris Anderson, 17. Red, 20. We'll go about 28 to Peterson. Probably 24 to Boozer. 30 to Chandler. 28 to Childs. I got about five minutes left. Let's go nine minutes to Kurt Thomas. So we're going to go a 10-man rotation for the regular season this year. We're three and a half star balance. Let's see if we can go back to back. So KG wins MVP this year for the Boston Celtics. We are the two seed in the Eastern Conference. Zach Randolph wins most improved in Chicago. Shaq wins Depoy. Man, imagine just Shaq on this team. Like he would be insane. And we got no Raptors on the All-NBA team. Sweet. I don't get, man, and how we keep getting snubbed out here. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I mean, I guess Carter and uh, T-Mac, like, weren't the most, like, deserving. I, feel, I don't know, though. Those are pretty all-NBA, like, third team at the minimum numbers to me. Whatever, though. They don't like us. Morris Peterson with an elite shooting season. How does he not maybe get sixth man of the year? Michael Red, though, he was really good for us. Also, Tyson Chandler, 11, 10, 3 assists. The field goal percentage is up pretty similar to what uh, Hakeem averaged for us last year. So, I'm noticing Carlos Boozer didn't really score a whole lot. But his shot tendency is a 60, which isn't too bad. But is his shot 3 tendency? It's a 0. He's got a 71 shot uh, spot up shot three tendency, but it's like, I don't think Boozer was really a three point shooter when he played. So for the playoffs, I'm cool with like, hmm, Kurt Thomas, maybe not playing. Yeah. Kurt Thomas just really hasn't been that good for us. So Alvin Williams can probably get like 13 minutes a night, 17 to Birdman. And we'll do like 15 to Birdman. I'd like to go 23 to Michael Red, 31 to Chandler. And then let's do 39 to T-Mac and McGrady. So round one, taking on the Atlanta Hawks, who have Jay Williams, Mike Miller, Elton Brand, who is by far their best player. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. I, I completely forgot we're the two seed. I thought we were the one seed once again. I just assumed we were. Wow. The Wizards actually beat us out um, with that team. I was even looking at the Hawks team. Okay, that was the maybe the biggest L I've ever had. Um, but we're taking on this Nets team that for some reason is like the normal Nets team. We beat them last year. Let's let's knock out this modern day Nets team. There's no reason for them to be back here in the 2003 season and they beat us in five. Okay. <laughs> well, they're just like, yeah, F you know, we're here to stay. The Nets beat us. Ugh, did we miss Hakeem Olajo on that much? What happened to these guys' numbers? Maybe we didn't need a Michael Red. I'm not too sure. And the Dallas Mavericks win it all. They did sign Gary Payton in the offseason. And oh yeah, they got Dirk Nowitzki as well. They beat the Celtics in seven. So Patrick Ewing retires, Charles Oakley, Nick Anderson, and Patrick Ewing does head to the Hall of Fame. Taking a look at the mock drafts, the Bucks are going to get LeBron James. You got the Suns maybe winning Dwayne Wade, Melo to the Blazers. Uh, John starts to the Magic. Wait, what? Why is he in this class? <laughs> Why is John Starks in this class? Why is Darren Williams in this class? Holy crap. This is kind of messed up. Is 2K glitching out on me right now? I'm not too sure. Because, like, how is there a historic draft class? 
wrong. And either way, we're probably not going to be picking that high. So if I were going to maybe move these picks, hmm, not really sure who I should trade them for. We can get a 36-year-old Scotty Pippen for Chandler in these picks. I can actually get pretty good players, but ooh, Ben Wallace. Is he an upgrade for us? He probably is an upgrade over Tyson Chandler, so you know what? We're going to make this trade. We get Ben Wallace, one of the best rim protectors of all time, to join uh, Tracy McGrady and Vince Carter. I'm all for that. LeBron was the number one overall pick. He goes to Milwaukee. We're making sure Vince Carter comes back. I did sign uh, T-Mac back mid-season. So I think we do need an upgrade at the point guard position. I just got to figure out who that could be. Aaron McKee, Temple Mage. Should I uh, bring him in? You got Terry Porter. Do we not have bird rights on Michael Red? Because I feel like he would have been the perfect guy to leverage for a good point guard. Oh, I really can't bring him back. Damn. So I'm going to sign Brent Barry here just uh, for about 8 mil a year. He could be traded from us. All right, we are going to be trading Brent Barry, who we just signed in Kurt Thomas, for Fred Hoiberg. Yeah, if you remember the former Bulls head coach. And we are also going to be getting Penny Hardaway here. He is 33 years old, but I still think he has something left in the tank that can hopefully get us a championship ring next year. So let's take a look at player progression, uh, led by Vince Carter and T-Mac. And then we got Morris Peterson. Ben Wallace regresses. Okay, Penny Hardaway regresses. That's normal all right so let's take a look at our 2004 roster as we did win a championship in 2002 lost in round one to, i can't believe we lost in round one last year so penny's gonna be about 30 or 29 we'll do about 37 to the wings about 26 to boozer 30 to wallace 30 to peterson 22 to birdman 16 to alvin williams and then we can do about 13 to chris child who's now going to be the ninth man in the rotation so i will see you guys at the end of the season and hopefully this team looks more like it's 2002 self then it's 2003 self. Gilbert Arenas, Agent Zero, wins MVP for the Vancouver Memphis Grizzlies uh, here in 2004, where he averaged almost 40 points and 10 assists, an insane season. As Melo also gets Rookie of the Year for Portland, he beats out LeBron. That left Shrimp, Sixth Man of the Year. See, like, 2K, what happened to your draft classes? Shaq, Depoy, J. Rich, most improved. Yeah, he was a stud. We get nobody on All NBA first team, nobody on second team, but but finally, in this video, we get somebody on just any All-NBA team, and it's Team Mac on All-NBA third team. So yeah, not even a Ben Wallace maybe on an all-defensive team. Here were the stats that um, led us to this one seed in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, led by Team Mac, Vince Carter. There's Morris Peterson with 17 points, four rebounds, three assists. Penny Hardaway averaged 6.6 .6 assists, but he was pretty efficient from the line and from the field. So I will take that, Ben Wallace. 8 rebounds, or excuse me, 10.7 rebounds, 8 points, 2 blocks tonight. Maybe he's not that much of an upgrade over Tyson Chandler that I was hoping he could have been. And for the playoffs, Chris Child's probably going to play about 10 minutes a night. Alvin Williams about 14. Birdman about 20. And then we got 7 more minutes. Let's go 32 to Wallace. We'll do 25 to Boozer. Even though he's, he was definitely better this year. We'll do 28 to the Hardaway. I'd like to go 30 to these guys, and I'll, I'll do one more back to Boozer. So we are taking on the Nets in round one. Don't care for their team. They don't really have any respected legends here, historic players. So let's just beat them like they beat us last year in round one, and we end up winning in six. So we do get our revenge over Brooklyn. I forgot if we faced them two years ago where this would have been a rubber match of the uh, series, but we did win it all two years ago. So hey, maybe we did. Vince Carter went off against them, and and T-Mac had 26. So now we're taking on the Chicago Bulls, who have Anthony Carter, Eddie Jones, Glenn Rice, Zach Randolph, Artis Gilmore, Brent Barry, Daron Sharp, a little bit of uh, current past uh, future here, and they end up beating us in six games. Oh my god, okay. So we peaked in year one when I didn't make any moves. So was that because I... Um, I just suck at rebuilding, and that's what's really going to happen. Here were the conference semifinals, uh, kind of just stats. T-Mac had 28 and 9. Damn, I can't believe we lost this. Ooh, Penny Hardaway was not very good. Neither was Carlos Boozer. So, yeah, let's see who wins the 20, or this would be the 2004 NBA Championship. And it was the San Antonio Spurs with Tim Duncan being your finals MVP. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this 2000 Raptors rebuild. I just want to kind of uh, do a quick, like, apologize. It might not be for you. Um, Hear that, like, the roster did have its flaws. It was the best roster I could find around that time. And a lot of people wanted to see this rebuild. 
and a lot of people have requested this rebuild for a while now so i wanted to come out with something for you guys and it wasn't that bad it was just like the nets the kings and the pelicans that had incorrect rosters and the, that draft class was weird which is like artist gilmore being in there someone like bob mcadoo debt left shrimp a little weird but either way that really wasn't that big of a deal so i just want to apologize if that kind of did ruin the video for you i don't really think it was that bad at all that's why i'm still going to post this um if there was maybe six teams that were off and they were constantly here and i had to have those type of players on the team but no i feel like we were able to get some players that really shined in that era um around t-mac and vince carter like boozer uh hardaway towards the end of his career birdman at the beginning ben wallace in his prime but yeah like always let me know which historic rebuild we should do next drop a like on this video if you guys did enjoy and the comment uh, with the video suggestion of the most likes I will do next. I've been keeping that trend up So I'm gonna continue doing that till 2k 23 and yeah, I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace